Hello and I'm Hunter Nort and today we're doing another review for the channel. This one's an indie demo for the Sega Dreamcast. This is Harlequest. What do you think of that disc art there, huh? <laughs> this is being brought to you from the legendary Mr. Ross Codes. I also spotted some guitars in the background of your video, so I'm guessing you're a bit of a rock and roller like myself. So, thank you for your video game, and this one's for you. Welcome to Harlequest. This is an endurance mode demo where the goal is to defeat all the enemies in each room. Controls. Joystick to move Estantine? Estantine? I think that's it. D-pad to cycle weapons, A to roll, B to use, activate, and X to attack. Tip 1. Pay attention to the green bar in the corner. This is your stamina, and everything uses it. Tip 2. Strike enemies as they attack to parry. This dazes them, making them a bit easier to hit. Tip 3. Roll while holding an attack to cancel it. This lets you escape without wasting stamina. Harlequest is a work in progress, and there might be bugs. Please tell me about your experience. There's Ross's contact details there. Good luck, you can press start at any point to see information again. Thanks for playing. So, Harlequest, here it is. This is a 2.5 demo and it's looking rather good, I must say. It's a 3D dungeon crawler adventure game. The story's nice and straightforward. There's a jester who's told one too many jokes to the king. Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. And because of that, he's been thrown into the dungeon to rot and die. But luckily for this doomed soul, he's had his cod liver oil tablets. And he's great at rolling around and is super fit. So he has to work his way out of the levels by surviving all sorts of enemies coming his way. Now, this is a game you'll die quite frequently. Well, at least in my case. But it's one of those that when you fail, you learn and come back like 1% better to master the level and work through to beat the game. Now I did say that the jester in this reminds me of the absolute legend from the PS1 days from an amazing game called Pandemonium. And to my joy, Ross did confirm that he is a big fan of Pandemonium and he did sprinkle a bit of inspiration into the game, which scored points for me big time. One thing he absolutely nailed in the game is the movement. Now I'm a bit of a picky bastard when it comes to controls in video games. I want them as smooth and easy to use, and this is pretty smooth, I really enjoy playing it. So there's no issues with the controls whatsoever, in my opinion anyway. You have three weapons, sword, staff, and bow and arrow. Now some of these enemies are probably a little easier with the sword and staff, but I find going toe to toe with them, I just get beaten horribly, so I just stick with the bow and arrow and just run around as much as possible and pick them off from afar. I think that works best, and yes, it's one of those games that you don't restart the section when you die, you restart the demo, which I really love, but that split moment you want to die, you just want to curse some words into the sky and start again, just like the golden era of gaming. Too bad, restart. <laughs> also, I like the balance. Sometimes you kill an enemy and it'll drop a heart, which gives you another hit point, you know, to kind of survive, which is pretty fair. I don't see too much use for cancelling the rolls yet to like, keep the stamina, as I just run around like a hit chicken with his head cut off till the stamina comes back and then just crack on firing the arrows. I do like that there's no auto aim, which makes it a bit more challenging to aim, as it uses your stamina when you actually fire the bow and arrow, so make them count. And I gotta say, I do love the cartoony skeletons, though it reminds me of the back of the PS1 when it was showing off its graphics and it reminded me of this image. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Well, in this case, it would be Dreamcast, right? But anyway, back on topic. It does have that medieval pandemonium kind of flavour, which I really like. It kind of gives me that nostalgia vibe that I grew up with on the PS1 while delivering me a brand new game. Overall, I love what I'm seeing from Harlequest. It seems like a solid action crawler with lovely visuals. The previous sample demos that I've seen had no music and made me wonder what the music could be like, but luckily the 2.5 has sound and I'm loving it. It's catchy, fitting, and can pretty much go of anything. Have a listen. Thank <laughs> you. 
So the Harlequest Quest Kickstarter starts on April the 1st, which is April Fool's Day, which is rather fitting for our hero of the game. Where you can support by being a backer, getting a digital release, a physical version, which I will, a collector's version with lots of nice stuff, or even a developer version, which has the source code of the game, full design, and a lot more, which to be fair, I probably wouldn't know what to do with it, as I'm a mere button masher on video games. So please check out this game, I'll put the link in the description, and I'll see you on the next one.